Welcome back to the channel, being day five now of Vlogmas. Today's video, we are going to be heading out to Josh's shop. If you guys watched yesterday's video, I was having a lot of trouble getting this car to start up in the freezing cold here. We never did adjust the cold start because when we tuned this car, it was middle of summer, very hot outside. Never really needed a cold start adjustment. Now that it's like 10 degrees here in Spokane, we're gonna go ahead, head out to Josh's, get a cold start adjustment map made onto the car here. We are heading out with Bo. We are going to be doing some video. I shouldn't say we, Bo is going to be taking some video stuff, photos for Josh and his cars. So today is a perfect day for Bo to drive the Honda. Bo's driven the Honda in the past, but I don't think he's driven it since it has made the power it is at right now. 708 wheel is what it dynoed in at. I think the last time he drove this car, it was making like five, five to 600. Can't remember exactly where it was. Still quite a bit of power. And truthfully, 708 is pretty useless on this car because it is still front wheel drive. So it just spins, especially with the weather we have right now. It's freezing cold and the roads are not good condition at all. But regardless, this car is still a blast to drive. And there's nothing better than letting your best friend enjoy your cars. And makes me happy letting him drive these cars. Hopefully we can get this car started this morning. I'm going to right off the bat, use the brake cleaner to hopefully get this car started. I'm hoping that the battery isn't shot because this isn't the first time it's died on me in just a few days. So hopefully the battery still has enough voltage. I'll have Bo spray some brake cleaner into the inlet on the turbo. And crossing my fingers, this starts right up. With the brake fluid, she started right up. Very happy that we're not gonna be struggling with getting this started this morning because we are on somewhat of a time crunch. downtown didn't run out of gas we just filled up now we are going to be heading out to Josh's shop he's gonna be changing the startup adjustment table so it doesn't struggle in the freezing cold Bo is now driving he has been driving but now he will be able to do some hits So Josh's dumbass forgot and left his computer at home. So we are not able to do the cold start adjustment, which is fine, but we are now heading to do some photos. Bo's gonna take some photos. Josh has Hyper Blue running again, and then getting some photos of Shania's gray.
just got to the spot where Bo's gonna go ahead and take some photos. He is taking photos of Josh Bader, if you guys don't know who he is. Subaru builder, builds some of the world's fastest Subarus. He just got his Hyper Blue STI out of retirement. If you guys know who he is, you guys know this is a big deal. So we're getting some pictures. Bo's taking some photos of Hyper Blue and his wife's Series Gray. Well, this thing's so nice. As they're all outside in the freezing cold taking pictures, Chase and I decided to be smart and we're sitting in the nice heated XT. We're just laughing at them freezing their ass off out there. Oh, looks like we're, we have Shania joining the party here. Don't! These two cars look so damn good together. Oh, it's hit the fountain! Damn, the clock works. I'm jealous. <laughs> Does yours not? Nope. Why? Like my clock. As you guys can see, Josh's Hyper Blue, Blue, has made it out of retirement and it is back on the road again. Obviously, a lot of it is hush hush right now, so I can't go over the car with you guys, unfortunately. But make sure you guys stay tuned to Josh Bader. I'm sure he's going to be making a YouTube video on this car and on social media and it's going to have a huge track presence this coming year. So make sure you guys are following along Josh Bader to see Hyper Blue Ooh. back on the road. Oh. <laughs> Damn, dick shot. Oh, whoa! We get demonetized. I already know you guys are gonna comment talking shit. No, we're not missing gears. This is the 6B Trans, and it is not good for power, especially at the power level. So the Trans is slowly giving out, and each gear is more difficult to hit. So I don't wanna see comments of me driving and missing a gear. It's just the transmission is on its way out, which I'm already prepared for. I already have the five speed waiting at home, along with the K24. That's why we're beating on it like we are, because I don't care and I just wanted to swap it out anyway. Looks like we're in the clear. He looks like he's just getting gas, but that was worrisome. Bo does not have his <laughs> license on him right now. I don't know if I should be saying that in this video, but we're in the clear. No ticket today. So we just got back to Josh's. Bo has been able to do a couple hits. This motor, the head is lifting on us again. So every like two pulls, it will start overheating and then it'll go back to normal temps. So the head stud was definitely to be changed. I'm not worried about it because I don't care for this motor anyway. I have the K24, but in some of those clips, you guys will see the EC will throw us in limp mode and bog us. That is why you guys will see the violent shake. But yeah, this is a lot of power on stock head studs. Take that back. We have ARP 2000s, but might as well be stock head studs. Those are practically the equivalent to stock head studs. They don't do much more. You can torque them more, sure, but it's not worth it for me to upgrade these head studs when this motor is hopefully on its way out. Well, I guess we came just in party time. Josh is throwing on his new purchase on the dyno. Recording. How's it going? Oh. 
Vlogmas. Hello. Vlogmas. <laughs> so Josh just picked up this XT that he's throwing on the dyno to try to get some sauce on it. I know he has a crazy build, so make sure you guys follow along Josh with this build he has planned for this. Well, this was kind of a bust. The main reason I wanted to head out here was to get this cold start adjustment done. Fortunately, he did not bring his laptop, so we can't do that. I did go ahead and pick up my HKS timing belt for the STI though. I thought I might as well just spend the money if I'm buying all these other parts and I don't have to run the cheap gates belt anymore. We just got back to the house. Unfortunately, couldn't go out and beat on the car as much as I would hope I was able to do today. We were running into quite a lot of overheating issues with this car. I knew that was an issue. I rebled the coolant system, but obviously at this power level, um, it keeps lifting ahead. So fortunately, I can't really beat on this car a whole lot more until I resolve that issue. In one of these next videos, I am gonna go through, re-bleed the coolant system. I need to change the oil on it still. I haven't changed the oil since my first dyno day and I have beaten on this car quite a lot. So I'm sure it could use a refresh on the oil change. Most definitely re-bleed the coolant system. But we still had a lot of fun today. Bo got a lot of pictures of Hyper Blue and Series Gray, um, both of Josh's cars. So that was a lot of fun and just hanging out with the boys was a blast. Haven't been out there for quite a while. I was wanting to get the cold start adjustment map done on this Honda today, but Josh forgot his laptop when he went to the shop. So obviously without his computer, he cannot change the tune. But I was able to pick up my new timing belt for the STI, so I don't have to worry about using the Gates belt that we normally run on all our builds, but I would just rather run the HKS belt, and it looks more pretty. You can't see it anyway, but I know it's there. Videos like this, I enjoy making a lot more. Personally, there's nothing that beats letting Bo, my best friend, beat on my car. We always let each other drive each other's cars. We have tra traded cars for days and whatnot. Whatever is mine is his, whatever his is mine. So it's a lot of fun being able to being able to have Bo rip on this car. He likes it a lot. And it's more enjoyable beating on a car that you don't care if the motor blows up. Um, if you have a car that you just did a new motor build and whatnot, you want to keep that alive and you don't want to beat on it too hard. But I bought this car to beat on it, not caring if a motor blows. These motors are significantly cheaper than my Subaru motors. So I think it's all fun and games at the end of the day. We were really trying to get video done. Uh, I was really wanting Bo, cause he does all my photos and video stuff. I was really hoping that we could get a video edit done today, at least shooting the video, so I can post that on the channel as well, a full edit of this car. I think that'd be really cool. I know a lot of you guys want to see this car rolling and whatnot as well. So this week, we're gonna try to get that planned and have a video for you guys of whatever Bo comes up with. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video of beating on the car. I like those videos, don't know about you guys, but I feel like who doesn't like to watch someone beat on a car? But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching day five of Vlogmas, and I'll see you guys in the next one.